she's all excited. Well, hello, y'all. It looks like it's supposed to rain, so that's good. That's We're not going to complain about rain. Um, it is. It's actually thundering a little bit. Well, we got our list. I didn't finish my list the other day. I did get the corral finished. We'll go over there and look at it because I got to get my ladder to fix a light. And uh, there's always something to do. So we got to do a little work there. We got to move some cows right quick. Uh, all our cows are doing good. But as I said in a few videos ago, a few vlogs ago, we're going to move Allie over with Elsa so she could kind of follow her around and kind of get the hang of just being a milk cow and not just a regular old cow so we're gonna get her kind of letting her follow um, Elsa around what we're gonna do is milk Elsa every morning and then put Allie in the same stanchion like we were doing we were doing some stanchion training before or if it's to do heavier stanchion training because we're about two and a half weeks or so uh, excuse me two and a half months uh, until her calf will be here so I want her trained 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 as we start doing that so um we pulled everything out of the greenhouse as you can see or all the stuff that's needing to be out of the greenhouse um because of the heat in the greenhouse it's like 120 in the greenhouse so let's go here and look I, I don't have all the corral finished but what i did do is i got the wall over there finished and then it, it shoots to behind the house like we always had I gotta get by one more gate for here like a true gate and then uh you know this is where we shoot to the run uh right there and that's how we run them into a trailer if we need to put them in a trailer for some reason um we have one more stanchion head if you watch me follow us on facebook and also on youtube this is our second stanchion uh one day we put them in here with a storm and they ripped up part of the stanchion so we took it down still got that that little head gap or the v gap for the stanchion so we're gonna rebuild this because when we're over here, I'm going to let Allie get used to this tension probably a little bit more because it's a smaller one. And Allie is a low line, so she is going to need, the other stench is kind of going to swallow her. So we're going to have this one for her too. And that way we're on this side of the, uh, of the area. I won't have to take her back over there just to milk her. Depending on, because see, when she comes and gets ready and has a calf, Elsa will have about, a month and a half to two months before she actually calves so we will actually probably dry her up around that time too so that way she can kind of prepare her body to uh get ready for her calf so we're gonna um we've got to change the light right quick that's something that i know you don't want to see me vlog about but then we're gonna go over to the uh the garden try to take down some cattle panels and then we're gonna try to at least go ahead and get the other silage tarp on the the gray uh, the ground and then Put the cows and move them over and move their water and all that good stuff so uh man look at this what i'm picking on some tomatoes but look how pretty some of those tomatoes are our hugoculture tomatoes have done really well they've been late Got some pretty ones right there that's my favorite that's like a sun gold or something and then the cherokee purple some pink ladies they're definitely my favorite look how look how pretty this tomato is right there you can see my vines are dying because it's getting that time again where things die um you know that they've kind of played their season out so we've got those are getting finished up uh these tomatoes are just getting ready you notice there's some yellowing on the on the leaves down at the bottom i think it's just airflow and needing of nitrogen so we're going to fill those full of nitrogen my peppers y'all i just can't get them they got blooms all over them but they just won't go ahead and start making peppers i've got some tomatoes in here too so they're starting to make but some of the peppers just not wanting to do anything i don't know beats all i've ever seen so we're gonna get those stood up too i doubt i'll do it today just because it's already crazy it's not on the list so let's check one more thing before we get that ladder let's check the peppers over here i can check that see my kind of spins that i had a prior vlog on that rain's been putting them down which is good all right no peppers on the pepper plants i don't understand that 
they're just looking bad. It's like they're not making. I don't know what it is. There's one pepper plant right there. It's going to start putting off. This pepper plant is going to start putting off. There's a big one over here putting off, but none of the other ones are really doing anything. Project one done, moving cow time. Go, buddy. Go in. Come on. You let it go. Now, for all you people who uh, watched the first videos with Sizzle, was that not an awesome move for a little bull calf? Bam. That's why you put them with a cow that's smart like Elsa. Gosh, how awesome was that? Last time we tried to get sizzle on this pen, he ran all over the woods, broke barbed wire, made me lose my religion. So I'm glad that is not the case with this little bull calf. It makes me not want to eat him. Sorry, process him. But we are. But man, how easy was that? So we're gonna go ahead and get water over here, finish with these, go get the other cows, move them, and I'll probably go ahead and move Allie over if it doesn't, if the rain doesn't catch me right now. So let's go ahead and get their water moved over, get that finished, and we'll be finished with these cows. All right, we're on the other side. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit, so I don't know if I'm gonna try to move Allie all the way over because she might get a little frightened with all the crazy storms. It's thundering, not bad yet, and it's sprinkling, but we're gonna go at least get there, then move to a new paddock too. You look how good they've ate this down. It's like a mower. Bam! They've done so well in this paddock. So we're gonna get them back over there to fresh grass, let them eat it down, and then uh, if I have a pretty day tomorrow, I might go ahead and get Allie moved and put her with Elsa. So let's go ahead and do that. Don't touch the hot wire. It's hot. Come on, Allie girl. Come on. Yip, yip. Come on. Flies, flies, flies. You can never do too much with flies. We have tried everything we can, and it's just you can't get them all off. So we gotta spray them down again. We've got a mixture of uh some fly stuff that we bought from the co-op it's a little bit more natural and then we've got some essential oils that we use on elsa so we're trying to cut them down and try to get it done let's get the bull out of here come on daddy oh come on boy come on come on bud get him moved over join them we'll close off these two little paddocks here i let them have two paddocks when we were going to michigan uh, one permanent and then during the day they come out on the other one. So they've pretty much ate both of them down, which is okay That's uh, kind of the sacrifice we made When we went out of town, so Look at the grass they're in now though. Let's get over here and look at it Let's 
Hey, look at the grass there now. Getting deep in grass. Very deep grass. So, very pleased with it. I always check my charger just to make sure it's working good. I hear it popping, which is a good thing. So, we're going to let them eat. Again, we're going to try to go and get Allie over, but I think we're going to wait. Uh, if it quits raining, I'll go ahead and get her over and get the garden stuff done, or after the garden stuff. Um, she's not bad during the weather, but she gets a little crazy. But I got to get their water moved. Um, I think I need a new hose. I cut a hose the other day, so I may be one hose short because I got them all the way over to the far side by the lake. And Allie and this brigade is over here on the far side behind the garden. So I don't know if I have enough hose to reach both of them at the same time. So I might be hauling hose tonight to fill up waters. And then going to buy a hose either tonight or tomorrow from somewhere. I know everybody says I need some kind of watering system over here. I could use the, the pond for an Everflow water and just uh, siphon it out. But the only thing about that is um, they're not always in that paddock. And my other two paddocks are not as low as that one by the lake. So it would be hard to just set it up just for that one paddock. So we're, we're, we'll try. We'll see what we can do. All right, let's dump this water. Get this big one moved. This is the big monster water. So it takes two hands and a lot of effort. All right, got them moved, got their water moved. They're loving it. So it's got a little sun coming out, so we're gonna go and get the silage tarp down, try to get the rest of the, the garden stuff broken down from spring and summer, and then try to put that other silage tarp on that area. Um, we did get our netting in for um, our chickens to start going over our gardens, uh, doing more of a permaculture chicken like Justin Rose teaches. So um, we are gonna try to do that. Uh, over there. So we're going to take a part of it, silage tarps. Part of it, cover crop for next year. Part of it, permaculture chicken. So we're going to have three different ways, three different samples on the same garden spot with the same soil. And we're going to see which one is the best. And that way we can just replicate it every year. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, but we got to finish the silage, silage, uh, um, silage tarp first part first bah, blah, 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 blah. couldn't get that out we're gonna finish that part first and then we'll work on the rest of the stuff so let's get out before we get zapped by this fence cows are doing good on to the next thing on the list do y'all make lists or is it just me i make lists and i'm just trying to figure out man when i get to check something off i'm like bam yeah awesome hey look i'll show you where i where my one of my deer plots are i don't know if you can hear me Look how good this grass looks. Which this this will be we'll, we'll just brush cut yet. The cow's got to actually eat in this a little bit, but sizzle with his stupid self ruined it for the rest of them. That's when we were just starting to use the the uh, electric wire fencing and temporary fencing and started doing heavy rotational grazing. So now after deer season, we're gonna go back and put the cows back on it, and let them go the whole line and that's going to give us that much more for all the calves that we're hoping to have by that time so anyways very pleased with that let's get the, the silage ta uh, tarps down let's get the rest of this move get the water on for the cows and we will be set to the next project all right cows are successfully moved um water's all done we actually just got our other silage tarp in uh, off our amazon we were real pleased with this one real thick it was six mil um, paid about a hundred hundred and something dollars for it. So don't get me wrong. It's, it's not the cheapest thing. See my camera's falling. Sorry about that um, Misty and the kids uh, Aiden's got cross-country tonight. So for our homeschooling group, he runs cross-country we, we we don't do school we do homeschooling um, But they started back so he's got to do some practice running with them um, So it's uh, so they're all going to do that and we've got uh, we've got to go somewhere later on this evening but uh, while we got sunlight and I've got a little time 
and get some stuff done that needs to get done. So let's get this silage tarp out just like me and Misty did the other day. We'll get it out, get it out of the box. And go ahead and get it rolled out. All right, no science to this, but we're gonna count it out. All right, so 27 yards will be what we need. Dang, that's almost gonna take up the whole tarp. Jeez, these things better last season over season. If not, you really can't justify the expense. All right, let's get this finished up, rolled out, and go and get this cut and get it on there. Woo! All right, Silas tarps are down. Sun's starting to pop back out, so hey, I'm gonna try to get some more stuff done. So we've got the full Silas tarp down now. So we've got, this is actually a 40 by about 80 spot right here. So I'm, I'm happy with that. We got it all covered, all still road. So we'll have to, we'll take our, our broad fork when we uncover this, check, make sure there's no reason to, but I hope we don't have the teal. That's the whole point of this part of the garden. So we're gonna try to get some of this up, get some of this grass around the cucumbers away, hoe around the corn. I don't know if I'll get all that done today, but we're gonna try. Uh, you know, for me, it can get overwhelming, but if we learn to just try to do it in moderation, like I had a big list of like 40 things to do. Well, reality is I'm not going to get to that. But if I can say, okay, tonight's goal is to do this, 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 this. If I can get those things, it's a, it's a win. So it's a conquered goal. Um, we've already conquered more than what I thought because it's supposed to rain. So we're going to go ahead and try to get this done. Knock this out. We got the silage tarp. There it goes again. Silage tarp is just a hard word for me. I don't know. I don't know if you can see. Uh, all right, down this lane. The sun's going to be shining. There's a big lane right here. I lease... A lot of that land that I don't own. I own uh, all of this land right here in the pine thicket, but on this other side, I don't own. I, I lease from a, a guy, my neighbor, uh, for hunting and also just to kind of make sure nobody else gets on my property. Um, but I'm gonna run some cow on that lane this year. So I'm thinking about expanding my herd. Um, I thought for the longest I was gonna just kind of keep what I had, but we have the room. I'm either gonna, let me go back. Give me your thoughts. I'm either gonna expand my herd or add uh, sheep. No goats, don't like goats. But maybe add some sheep, some pretty sheep, some lamb. Uh, not big milking sheep, none, just not any kind of fuzzy, fibrous sheep. Just some pretty little lamb to have some lamb chops, to grow them off, sell them, and be really pretty. So give me your thoughts, either more cow or some sheep. Leave them, leave it in the comments below. Well, see the sun shining? But it's uh, thunder and lightning over here and raining. So I think I'm about to cut it off for the night. It's about 7.30 anyway. I thought I was going to be able to at least get a little bit more done. But at least I got the solid tarps down, the rest of them. I've got, I'm going to get under this so I won't get soaking wet. i got the cows moved. I've got um, some of the tomatoes picked that y'all didn't see. I didn't vlog on that. Crown fully finished. So I'm going to try to just knock out what I can. I'm out of breath. I was supposed to go and get all the other stuff done with the garden. I'm trying to get all that stuff disc around it just did not happen so we're going to go ahead and call it for the night we hope that you have a good day good evening and a happy homestead y'all